tonight I am making chick- homemade chicken pot pie. So you want to start off with some chicken strips. And then you're going to get you some kitchen scissors or a knife or whatever you have. Or you can um, cook them just like this or whole, but cut them up. So you're just going to cut them in chunks just like we cut the uh, chicken for the quesadillas. If you haven't seen my quesadilla video, check it out on the channel. I don't know what that is. You can also use a, um, that's like a whole bone in there. See that? It's a whole bone. Um, you can also use a rotisserie chicken. You can get some chicken breasts and cut them up. I don't know about this. Mm -mm. I don't know about this piece. into small or medium chunks like I have here. Um, I just cut it right into the skillet. You're gonna take it over to the stove, um, set on medium high, and then season with my, I season with my normal seasonings, which is onion powder, garlic powder, seasoned salt, and complete seasoning. And then um, we'll cook it until it's done. All right, so again, we're gonna season with Season salt. Some onion powder. Garlic powder. Some complete seasoning. Black pepper. And I know I didn't say this before, but some rotisserie chicken seasoning. season this in the bowl and then put it in the skillet it, it's up to you though um, I didn't add any olive oil or anything to this skillet it's, it's pretty good nice stick skillet but if you have to add olive oil that's fine too or even a little water so that your chicken doesn't stick to the bottom but you just want to let it cook and while that's cooking we're gonna prep our pie crust and our vegetables We're gonna prepare our pie crust. So we're gonna need a, you need a pie pan. Or I used to make cakes in this, but this will work. And some Pillsbury pie crust. You can totally, if, if the Lord leads you, you can make your own crust. The Lord ain't led me to that today or ever. And this crust tastes, tastes good, just as good as a, homemade pie crust. So, pie crust, and yes, I wiped the counter off. You just wanna roll it out. These work best if they are room temperature, but you wanna take your pie crust and put it in the bottom of your pan, your baking dish. Now, I don't know how to make the edges all fancy. You just pull it out. So you just gonna get what you get on, on this. But you do wanna press it in the edge. Boom. Bottom of your your, your uh, pot pie is done. So what I like to do so it's not doughy at the bottom is I cook the bottom crust a little first. to aerate it or whatever they call it, the chefs, you take a fork 
and I'm sorry, I'm trying to look in the camera and record this. You're gonna take a fork right here and poke some holes in it. So we're gonna put this in the oven that's preheated to 350 degrees. And we'll just let it cook until it's halfway done. So I'll say about 10 minutes. So normally in your pot pie, you wanna use the mixed vegetables. And I have used this before, but I don't like peas. So instead of picking the peas out like I normally do, I'm not gonna use this and I'm gonna use this. This is gold and white corn with carrots and asparagus. It's, it's still gonna be good. So you can use this or you can find something without peas if you don't like peas. I hate peas. So this is what we're using tonight. Okay, so now that our chicken is fully cooked, we're gonna add the frozen vegetables. So change of plans, I had to use my other mixed vegetables bag and guess what I did? Picked out them peas. I know what y'all thinking, Jean. Why you did? You know you didn't. It did. Here, that here it is. No peas. Oh, there's one. Oh no, nope, that's a green bean. So you are gonna sprinkle that into your chicken. You just want to get it unfrozen. This is just a steam bag of mixed vegetables. They don't have to be cooked all the way. You just want to knock that little bit of ice off. So I'm gonna increase the heat and let those simmer until we get to our next step, which is adding our soups. So veggies look how we want them to look. So now we're gonna add one can of cream of chicken. Let me check on my crust. Crust is ready, let me get that out. So this is how you want your crust to look. So, sorry, back to the one can of cream of chicken. And one can of cream of mushroom. You want to stir, stir that all up together. And I'm gonna add one can of water, not two, because we want it thick. You want the inside of your pot pie to be thick. I ain't even do the whole can. Cause you just wanna kinda get it to the consistency you like. If you hear tap dancing in the background, it's my dog, my children. They like to come right up to the edge of the kitchen so they can see what I'm doing. And one day I'm gonna show y'all my face. I'm gonna put my face on here like I did at Christmas with my niece because everybody's been requesting that. And I'm gonna do some more collaborations. So just stay tuned. You gotta keep watching my channel. And send me ideas, send me food ideas. I think I'm gonna, I did end up doing the whole thing. Here is your chicken pot pie filling. Right, so we got our pie crust uh, lightly cooked. So again, this is how it should look. Then you wanna take your pot pie filling and just pour it in here. Now this is obviously enough for two pot pies. So don't overfill it. Just get about that much in there.
and you're gonna take your second pie crust lid over the top. And again, the pie crust need to be room temperature for best results. And it tells you that on the package. So look, boom. There go a pot pot. You got you a pot pot right there. So you want to take your edges and make them cute. I think this is how you do it. I think you pinch them like this. See, I don't like how that is. I want my, I want it full, so I'm gonna put some more right there. Fold it back over. So pinch those edges together. Do whatever you you eating this. So whatever whatever help you feel good about your pie crust. My, mine ain't that thing, that cute, but what you know. Tear this off. You just want it to be closed up, okay? Boom. Closed. Boom. That's cute or whatever. So, this is the trick I just learned on the Food Channel. You wanna, this is just some design, so you just cut, do some little holes like that. And then you take some egg whites or egg wash. Get you one of these if you don't have one. Or use your fingers. And you just brush it over the top. And that'll help it brown and not burn. And I think you're supposed to mix some water with this, but I didn't. So we're going to learn today. We're going to see what happens when you don't mix the water with the egg whites. So you don't have to cook this long because remember we cooked every, pre cooked everything before we put it inside of here. So all we're doing is browning this top crust and make sure that egg white get cooked so you don't get salmonella poisoning. So we're gonna put this in the preheated oven for about 10 to 15 minutes just to make sure that egg is cooked. So I don't want nobody getting sick and I don't want to get sick. We'll be back. <laughs> 